guys, so I'm in Kasuka Bay, uh, Japan, and I'm here at Mr. Donut. Now, why am I at Mr. Donut? Because we don't have Mr. Donut in the United States, and I got, uh, I got 20. I got 20 to take home and test. Now, there might be some doubles in here, because it is super late at night, and uh, I'm recording on my phone, because that's all I had on me at the time. We were out wandering around the town, but I wanted to try these donuts out. You got, a. Uh, you got KR Interpreter, you got Bob Shouch, you got Molly Skyler back there, uh, Tom Greenwald's back there hiding out too, but uh, <laughs> let's test these out. So we're back here at the uh, hotel. Molly Skyler came over to join me, and uh, these are actually, you know, I introduced these last night, but I saved them for this morning. Because last night was like 9 o'clock, and I didn't really feel like we're doing donuts at 9 o'clock at night. But uh, as you can see here, this is uh, actually, this doesn't look impressive to our American audience, and because you can get this kind of stuff on every street corner. But over here, this isn't really something you just, you don't walk 10 feet, and there's a Starbucks and a Dunkin' and, you know, all the other sugary deliciousness. They just don't. This is not how they roll over here. Um, more savory than sweet, and very very small portions. So this was kind of, kind of like I was like, oh, there's a donut shop. And of course I got excited about that. So uh, we're gonna review these. Um, I got twenty, and uh, it was around twenty dollars ish. So roughly a dollar a piece, which is very comparable to what the United States sells donut for. And um, this is just your traditional glazed ring right here. It's puffy glazed ring, puffy. And, uh, I'm on. very, I'm very, very selective because this is more like a cruller. Yeah. That's exactly like, I mean, I hate to say like a Dunkin' Donut, but it's like, you know. I, I, I want to say that these are probably very comfortable to what a Dunkin' is going to offer. But I will say that the, um, pastry selection here, these are more, um, very, very, very airy. Like almost like a pillow. Uh, Maybe we tried a couple of uh, uh, pastries from the, even like the 7 Eleven. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's like a 7 Eleven on every single corner. So, where you can't find a Dunkin' Donuts or a donut shop, you will find a 7 Eleven or a. Actually, it's called Seven and I Holdings. Okay, I, I, I apologize. He is actually correct. Um, <laughs> but then you also have, if you're looking for like a some kind of a drink dispenser, like a soda, soda machine. It's mostly coffee, tea. You can't find diet soda. Like we found, we found Coke Zero a, a select few times, but you can't find like you're not gonna find. There, there's no such thing as I haven't seen a diet Pepsi or diet Coke. I found Coke Zero and Pepsi Max. I mean Coke Plus. Mm -hmm. We're not really sure what the plus is yet, but <laughs> last night we were in a grocery store and we actually saw. Um, what did we see last night? That one grocery store that I was blown away by. Oh, the caffeine-free one. They had caffeine-free Coke Zero, which, like I said, that one, that one's a custard. Yeah. And this one here. It's actually, it's, very, it's actually really super thick. Yeah, super thick. Yeah. This is your uh, traditional cream field. I would say the size comparison is very Dunkin'-ish. Like I said, these are by Mr. Donut. Months we're doing it. But the... Uh, like the filling in this, it's it's a cream based filling, but it's very, it's not overly poweringly sweet, so very low on the sugar content. This is just like a thick pudding. Mm. It's very good. They're actually really good the second day. Now, and I bought these at the end of the day, so I wasn't sure how good they were going to be anyways. I'm not partial to strawberry anything, so I'm going to leave those to him because, yeah. This is like an old, this looks like an old fashioned, if you've ever had old fashioned donuts. Like a cake donut. Kind of, but yeah. I've got a little bit of chocolate ring on there, but not all the way around, so. Oh. Look, I half finished crust. Yeah. It's like they made the effort, but they didn't finish it. I guess it's just for a taste of flavor, I'm not really sure. The chocolate's actually really good. 
strawberry is good too, not, not real overpowering. Like I said, the sugar content is much lower. Coke Zero. Yeah, there's your Coke Zero. Yep. Pure rum. Wow. As you can see, it's uh, <clears throat> but even finding one this big was very difficult. Most most servings of the sodas are very very small, 12 ounces, 16 ounces. These liter and a half. We actually didn't find them till about our uh, third night in Japan, maybe. Mm -hmm. So. No Sam's Club. No Walmart. <laughs> Diet Mountain Lightning. No Diet Mountain Lightning. I got the uh, strawberry glazed. The strawberry glazed. And that's just like the <laughs> traditional chocolate glaze. Yeah. The I'm boring but delicious donut. It's kind of boring but it's still delicious. Like I said, these have a super light and airy texture that I think they're very, very good. I think the glazes are different too. Yeah, the glaze, the glaze is more of a... It's very firm. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint what the difference is. It's like a... Almost has more of like a waxy taste to it. This one actually has more of a shock, like a cocoa taste, than, mm -hmm. than the actual ones that you have at Dunkin'. I'm trying to think what this is like. I'm not sure what the comparison is. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, I'm trying to pinpoint that comparison. It looks like a baby, baby teething ring. Yeah, it's like a teething ring. Um, but this is your um, traditional raised. Um, there was no specific name for this. It was just ring, ring donut. And this one has. Uh, it's the ring donut. This one has uh, strawberry on it. Not like I said, we got there super late last night because. Um, we actually didn't get to this area. Hmm. Until after seven, I think. Was it seven o'clock? Yeah. It was late. And then um, kind of just went out and wandered around for a while and found these, and I thought it was interesting. So. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long trip so far. We haven't had as much time as we wanted to. We actually wanted to film a bunch more videos, and the things that we thought were available weren't available. You know how weird that gets. So, I mean, you kind of do the best you can. Um, what's the time you have? Yeah, exactly. And then this right here, and this is like in every single vending machine, basically. It seems to be the dominant coffee drink. It's called Boss. And they have several varieties of these, but like I said, the servings of, like, this is like an iced coffee of such. And these, they're super tiny. As you can see, like, you can really hold it with two fingers. It's like eight ounces. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's eight. Hey, maybe eight ounces. I'm not quite sure. I'm not check. Um, he said everything in here is obviously in Japanese, so I can't really read a whole heck of a lot, but I'm not seeing a mm, numerical, uh, I don't know, 100 grams? No. We, uh, we could use the technology that we possess <laughs> and uh, run it through, uh, Google Translate here. Yeah, that's actually very convenient. Let's see here if we can find out a serving size on this thing. Uh, 44 calories. I mean, it's the whole can of the serve. Caffeine. I just couldn't find a numerical number for the for the for the milliliters on there. Shake well before opening. Carefully selected milk. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and I, this is also came out of one of the vending machines in the hotel. All the hotels have liquor or beer, which is great. And I actually got this for free. I'm not going to drink it, but it's a, some kind of a grapefruit uh, beer 
malt beverage. I don't I don't even know what it is because I haven't read it with the Google Translate. But it's great for flavor. It has 4.2% alcohol by volume. And it actually looks pretty cool. But all of the hotels that we've been to so far have actually had vending machines for booze. Which is actually pretty freaking cool. And if you take the economical route and don't have them clean your room every day, they give you a little coin for a free beer. Yep, they do. Uh, yeah, who knew? So, well, like I said, we, we've we been doing so much stuff anyway, it's it's like you, you don't have time to be here in the room, so it's kind of like, you know, why have them clean it, so. Six and a half ounces. Six and a half ounces. Six and a half ounces. There you go. So, itty bitty tiny boss cafe LA, but they have multiple varieties of that, but I don't know. <laughs> my, fa my favorite so far here just has to be the Coke Zero because it's familiar. <laughs> I mean, they definitely had some... I, I tried some different drinks and stuff, and there were definitely some interesting drinks to try. So um, maybe if we get a chance on on the last night of this trip tonight, maybe I'll try to do like a, get some different things out of a vending machine and sample some different liquids and give you a video on that too. I'll see what I can do. I mean, I did get a grab, grab a bunch of stuff for my kids. Um, I mean, I just grabbed a bunch of snacks and stuff like that. They have a bunch of Kit Kats and weird stuff over here. So snacks, hey. Andy Cole. Snacks. Snacks. I mean, if you were to go into the grocery store. I mean, you would have months and months and months just because people in America had never seen a single one of these things ever, most likely. And it's just yep. like, oh, wow. Like, this is a whole grocery store. Of, Drastically wow. different. Yeah, so, I don't know. Yep. Interesting stuff, man. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this little review on the Mr. Donuts and uh, some other things like the like the coffee and things like that. And uh, I, don't, I don't know how many videos you're actually going to get to see from Japan. It may be one, maybe two. There may be a project video you get to see. Uh, the real reason we were actually over here. Um, we'll see. But there are, you know, we'll see what we can do. It's, it's difficult. We're, we're hoping to, uh, this is what they call a bento box. And this is what they give out. Like, um, this would be like what we would consider like a grab and go kind of, type kind of item. And of course, it's fresh chicken and, and rice and vegetables and. Usually they have a pickled veggie in there, so or lots of rice. Those right there look like um, cooked spiders, but I'm not sure. Cooked spiders. <laughs> cooked spiders. Um, there's tofu and uh, different, different Always things seaweed and... Seaweed. But the thing is that most of their food is very fresh, for very the most fresh. part. And yeah, very impressive. I mean, and I've eaten a couple of these over the last couple of days. We had, I, this one just kind of got put to the side. But it's just like, just the artistic way they put their little tiny meals together. Like, this is, this is an average meal. Americans would eat a lot more than this usually, so um, they're very healthy people. I gotta, I gotta give them props, man. They're pretty awesome. So yep, you know it. So, but anyways, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this little review video. Something a little bit different. I've never been to Japan. This is my first trip out of the United States, and I thought it was a lot of fun. And I think Molly's enjoying herself too. So, like always, take it easy, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.